You guys, last year was such a great year. I'm so proud of our students for learning how to, sh to rise by showing respect, integrity, safety, empathy. Nice moves, Ms. McCarty. Thanks, Mr. Haney. Um, I also love how they are learning using the aviator traits. Do you realize that being an aviator that rises is the start to achieving our dreams? What do you mean? Well, these skills we're teaching our students, like collaborating or persevering or solving problems, they don't just help them as students, but they'll help them for their whole life. Their whole life? Yeah. The traits of aviators that rise will be crucial if they want to be a doctor, a professional athlete, a teacher, have a nice house, or whatever their dreams. Well, how do we help students understand that? What was that? Let's go outside. Wait, are you? Yes, I am Amelia Earhart. But how? A little thing I call time travel. I had a little help from uh, Tony Stark and Hank Penn. Wow, and you chose to come here. It is my school after all, and I want our students to achieve their dreams. You are the first female pilot to ever fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. True. I'm sorry, I don't have much time. Um, I, I came to share a message with your students. Is that Please, yes. Uh, some of us have runways built for us, and if that's you, great, take off. But if you don't, you can grab a shovel and build a runway for yourself and for those who follow after you. This is for you. Good luck. Thank Bye, you, Bye. Bye. What did she mean by that? Well, I think she means that the teachers are building runways for their students, and the students are choosing to fly, but as our students grow older, they have to solve their own problems and build their own runways. That's the aviator way. Hey, what does the paper say? These particles only work for a short period of time travel. Here are five more vials of the pin particles. You can use them to travel to and back from anywhere in time. All you need to do is hold the vial, and all three of you say the name of the person you want to meet. You will be taken to that person, and then after one minute, you will be brought back to where you started. Choose wisely, and you can have other famous people from the past share their lessons with your students. That is so cool. Who should we visit first? I always wanted to talk to Abraham Lincoln. How about him? Let's do it. Abraham Lincoln! What in the blazes? Sorry, President Lincoln. We didn't mean to scare you. We're from the future. We're just coming to see if you have any advice or lessons for students at Amelia Earhart Elementary. Yeah, I remember learning that you got the nickname Honest Abe. How'd you get that? <laughs> well, that all started a long time ago when I was a young clerk in a store. Uh, I accidentally charged a lady a few more pennies than I was supposed to. By the time I had realized my mistake, she was already gone home. So I walked a few miles and returned her the pennies. A few miles just for a couple pennies? She didn't even know about the mistake. Yes, but I knew. That is what it means to have integrity, to do the right thing, especially when nobody's looking. That is such a great example for our students. Is there any final words before we depart? When I do good, I feel good. And when I do bad, I feel bad. It's that simple. Wow, Mr. President, you really are one of the greatest leaders of all time. It's been such an honor to meet you. Thank you. Well, off to the theater. No! no! That was unbelievable. <laughs> wow! Okay, where, where next? Well, we do have some amazing soccer players here at the school. True. Well, what does that have to do with this, though? Well, they would love to have some advice from one of the greatest soccer players of all time, Pele. Sports require hard work and learning just like school. Let's do it! I have always wanted to meet Pele. Oh, man. He said Pele without us. We were all supposed to be touching the vial. Oh, no. I forgot to have Mr. Haney and Mrs. Perryman hold the vial. Hey, I'm practicing here. Why do you need to practice? You're the best player in the world. How do you think I got my skills? What's one of the things that helped you as you worked hard? My father's advice. He taught me to be reflective. That's actually one of our aviator traits. What did he say about that? When I watched a movie of myself, I noticed that I was really strong with my right leg. So I started to work hard on my left leg. And now I'm really strong on both legs. That is impressive. I'm gonna share that with my students. Hey, 
I would love to tell my students that I blocked the Pele kick. Can I, can I block one of your kicks? Yeah, you can try. <laughs> Whoa, that was awesome. I actually got to play soccer with Pele. Um, how about next time we all get to touch the wild <sighs> this time? That's my bad. Can I just my bad, get an autograph? No. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's my bad. Okay, guys. Last year we talked about empathy. Who is someone that has shown a lot of empathy? What about Clara Barton? She was the founder of the Red Cross and she helped a lot of injured people on the battlefield. Let's do it. Okay. Clara Barton. Get down! We are at war here! Why are you here? You need to leave. But you're here, shouldn't you leave too? While our soldiers can stand and fight, I can stand and feed and nurse them. Wow, that shows a lot of empathy for the soldiers. It's really dangerous to be out here. You must never so much think as if you like it or not. You must never think of anything except the need and how to meet it. You are a great example of seeing through the eyes of others and putting their needs first. Thanks. Now duck! Oh my goodness, that was a close one. Yeah, I was so glad to meet her. She's an amazing person. Yeah, but let's choose another person that isn't in war. <laughs> yeah, good idea. How about uh, Martin Luther King Jr.? That would be awesome. Martin Luther, Luther King, King Jr. Jr. Oh no, guys. I think we dropped the vial as we were saying his name. What is happening? Everything is in black and white. The time travel only partly worked this time. We can see it, but it is a little blurry and they don't seem to notice us. Hey guys, this looks like the famous march on Washington. Martin Luther King Jr. worked with five other people to organize a protest and march for jobs and freedom in Washington, D.C. You mean he collaborated with them? Exactly. This march and his speech really made a difference in the world. Hey, let's listen. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Yeah. This is the best day ever. We have really met some amazing people. We have one vial left. Who should we see? You know, I was thinking, what if we go to someone who could teach us about persevering? Hey, what about uh, Thomas Edison? Uh, I heard he had to really persevere to invent the light bulb. Sounds good. Thomas Edison! Mr. Edison, who goes there? We've come here from the future because we wanted to learn about how you've persevered through all of your uh, inventions. Ah, perseverance, that is correct. I have tried to get this right thousands of times, but I haven't figured it out yet. Do you ever feel like you failed? I have not failed. I have simply figured out 10,000 ways that won't work. That is the aviator way. So this doesn't work yet? That is correct. Our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is always to try just one more time. Let's try this, shall we? Ow! Oh, it works! Look at that. Well, thank you, Mr. Edison. We'll definitely t share that with all of our students. Where did Mr. Haney go? I bet he's still with Mr. Edison. Eesh, I hope he makes it back. Yeah. Well, we have learned so many things that will really help our kids reach their high hopes. We should have the High Hope song be our Friday song. I love that when idea. When we hear it, we can think about how being an aviator, that rises, will help us achieve our future goals. Let's do it. 